Come along as I take you to a 4th of July weekend at Isla Morada Tiki Bar Sandbar and also take you to one of the bluest waters you can find in any bay across the whole US. We spent the weekend in Sunshine Key and had a beautiful time. Remember, good days bring happiness, bad days bring experience, worse days bring lessons, and the best days bring memories. This weekend will forever be embedded into my memory bank. What's up guys? Good morning, good morning. We're here right outside of Marathon. It's a little south of Marathon. Right when you pass the Seven Mile Bridge, we're staying at this nice RV resort. We're here with family. Today we're gonna be traveling over 100 miles total to go to Tiki Bar, which is in Isla Morada. So we're gonna rip down there. It'll probably be like an hour and a half ride there, hour and a half ride back, depending on our cruise speed and whatnot. It's 4th of July weekend, so you know it's gonna get pretty, pretty crowded over there. A lot of boats. This is probably the best spot to party if you're into that type of stuff down in the Keys. And the only way to access it is by boat. So if you don't have a boat, sorry. I mean, you could try to swim there, but I wouldn't recommend that. We're here on our 27 foot H-Craft. We launched this boat from Key Largo, rode all the way here. The resort's called Sunshine Key. Like I said, it's past the seven mile bridge. It took us about an hour and 35, hour and 40 minutes to get down here. It was an awesome ride. But to make it to Isla Morada, we're gonna probably cruise, I said an hour and a half. I mean, maybe about an hour and 15 minutes, we should be there. As long as the weather stays how it is, right now there's no wind. I think there's like three mile an hour winds, which is perfect. Even though we're gonna stay on the on the intercoastal waterways, if we were to ride outside, it would just be, it will be just as nice, honestly. Our ride was smooth sailing the whole way as the winds were low all day. We cruised at around 35 miles per hour, getting three miles per gallon. This boat is truly very efficient with this 250 V8 Verado. When you arrive at Tiki Bar, you can see most boats anchor on the north side outside the channel. This is because the north side, compared to the south side, has better sand and less grass. The sandbar always attracts a good amount of boats, but it gets really crowded on holiday weekends like Memorial Day and 4th of July. One tip I'll give you if you decide to go on a holiday weekend, is to not anchor so close to the sandbar as boats will layer on top of you and block your exit. Good morning guys. Today we're gonna go to the best spot in the Florida Keys, at least in my opinion. It might not be the best spot, but it is one of the best spots. It's called Content Key. It's about a 35, 40 minute ride from where we're staying here in Big Pine. Follow us along. These waters are really blue. It kind of makes it seem like we're in the Bahamas instead of the Florida Keys or Florida in general or the US in general. I mean, the waters there are really, really gorgeous. You guys know that, you know, Florida does have nice waters, but once you hit the Bahamas, the waters get very, very blue. It really looks like a pool. That's what we're aiming for here at Content Key. The water is, might not be as blue as the Bahamas, but it's very close to it. And I'm gonna take you guys along with us for the journey. Tune in. If you haven't, like, subscribe to the channel, comment, it really helps us a ton. This is Content Key, clear waters, white sand, peaceful and relaxing. If you wanna be more isolated, and vibe with the ocean, especially compared to Tiki Bar, this is the place to be. It was so quiet and felt very cleansing. I'm not much of a fisherman. I'd say I'm more of an explorer. And knowing I'm reaching spots that not many people have experienced is what drives me on my boating journey. Follow my journey, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, you can catch me offshore.